directive influence of substituents in aromatic compounds let us take an example benzene in the case of benzene benzene contains six carbon atoms and all the six carbon atoms are equivalent when it is mono substituted only single mono substituted derivative is there okay only single mono substituted derivative if we convert this mono substituted derivative into a di substituted derivative there are three isomers are possible they are ortho para and meta okay so while we are converting a mono substituted to di substituted we can see that the substituents already present in the ring determines the position of the next incoming group okay this ability is called as the directive influence of directive influence of substituents okay of substituents in the aromatic ring here we are discussing about this okay so direct influence of substituents is the ability it is the ability of the substituent which determines okay substituent which determines the position of the next incoming group okay position of the next incoming group this property this ability of the group is called as the directive influence of substituents okay we can see that certain substituents are ortho para directive okay they direct the next substituents to the ortho and para positions such compounds such groups are called as ortho para directing groups they are called as ortho para directing groups some of the examples are we can see that oh okay then nh2 ch3 then halogens like cl br i etc are some of the examples of ortho para directing groups okay in the case of ortho para directing groups we can see that due to resonance and the inductive effect due to resonance and inductive effect the electron density at the ortho and and para position are increasing okay due to this the next electrophilic substitution will takes place in the ortho para positions okay due to resonance effect and inductive effect and inductive effect ortho para directing Uh, direct or the para positions will become highly electron rich or electron density at these positions are increasing okay let us take one example as phenol we can draw the resonance structures of phenol in this oh group is present okay if we are drawing the resonant resonating structures let's draw the structures okay so what will happen next structure will be here a minus charge double bond oh plus okay now this bond will shifts here next structure will be like this minus charge will be here okay now next structure okay now moves here 
and these are the five resonating structures of phenol okay oh okay in this case of these resonating structures if we notice we can see that here in the ortho and para positions are highly electron rich which means the electron density of the aromatic ring increases okay so or this groups activates the aromatic ring so they are called as activating groups activating groups these are called as activating groups okay so electron density of the ortho and para position increases so next electrophilic substitution can be easily takes place in the ortho para positions so we can see that oh is an ortho para directing group now if we consider in the case of aryl halides in the case of aryl halides if oh is replaced by cl group and cl groups there is minus i effect due to minus i effect what will happen the electron density of the aromatic ring decreases or the cl or halide groups what will happen they will decrease the or deactivates the aromatic ring they deactivates the aromatic ring so next electrophilic substitution will become difficult but in this case also there is resonance effect okay resonance effect is there resonance effect is similar in the case of phenol okay so similarly we can see that if we draw the resonating structures of halides of chlorine or uh, any halide halogens we can see that ortho para so positions are electron rich so electrophilic substitution can be takes place and also resonance effect always predominates over minus i effect so overall effect will be resonance effect so in this case also we can see that ortho para substitution electrophilic substitution will takes place so these groups are also ortho para directing groups okay these are also ortho para directing groups okay this is much about ortho para directing groups next is meta directing groups meta directing groups some of the examples of meta directing groups are no2 then cn cooh coor so3h etc are some of the examples of meta directing group let us take one example in the case of nitrobenzene n double bond o okay in this case we can see that this this double bond shifts towards here and this will shifts towards here this will be the resonating structures of nitrobenzene so there will be a positive charge double bond n o minus o okay next what will happen okay okay now this shifts here and this minus charge shifts here so next will be like this okay n double bond o o okay these are the five resonating structures of nitrobenzene in this case also we can see that we can if we notice we can see that the ortho and para positions are having a positive charge which means that they are deficient electron deficient this means next electrophilic substitutions can takes place only in the meta position and these groups are also called as deactivating groups because they are deactivating groups 
because this deactivates or the electron density of the aromatic ring is in decreases so they deactivates the aromatic ring so they are also called as deactivating groups okay so these groups are meta directing groups now let us take some reactions for ortho para directing and meta meta direct okay one example take toluene here we can see that ch3 is an ortho para directing group on reaction with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated h2so4 what will happen nitrating mixture so since this is an ortho di ortho para directing the reaction takes place and the compounds obtained will be ortho nitro toluene and para nitro toluene okay ortho nitro and para nitro toluene now let us take another example for meta directing coh benzoic acid benzoic acid on reaction with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated h2so4 the product will be meta nitro benzoic acid okay coh in para nitro toluene this is meta nitro benzoic acid okay these are some of the reactions now let us take some polynuclear hydrocarbons and their toxicity polynuclear hydrocarbons polynuclear hydrocarbons are those hydrocarbons which contain two or more fused benzene rings okay two or more fused benzene rings some of the examples are naphthalene anthracene etc some of these polynuclear hydrocarbons are highly carcinogenic they are carcinogenic means causing cancer and highly toxic let us take some examples these are mainly obtained by the combustion of tobacco tobacco coal tar and petroleum okay these are obtained from by the combustion of these compounds okay now let us take some examples first one 12 benz anthracene one two benz anthracene this is obtained this is present in coal tar and causes skin cancer so it is highly toxic okay next example one two benz pyrene One two, benzpyrene. This is also carcinogenic. Next, one two five six, dibenzanthracene. One two five six, di. benz anthracene these are some of the examples of polynuclear hydrocarbons which are carcinogenic okay when
when they entered into the body they undergo some biochemical reactions okay as a result of this it damages the dna damages dna and causing cancer so they are highly carcinogenic okay